Hey guys, this is DC Service Tech, and today I just want to go over, uh, you have to recover a refrigerant. If you say you're doing a change out or something like that, you absolutely have to recover the refrigerant. You make sure that you do not mix the refrigerants in the same bottle, all right? Otherwise, you get uh, you get like basically a fine for that for um, with your supply house, because there's no way for them to recover the refrigerant. They actually have to burn it. Uh, the factory where they're trying to reclaim it at, there's no way to do that. You can't separate the refrigerants, all right? So make sure that you keep all the same refrigerant in the same recovery bottle. You don't overfill the recovery bottles. Um, you have to re uh, recover this refrigerant. If you don't, you just release it into the air. It's a $37,500 fine uh, per day and per occurrence. So say you do it four times in a day, it's $150,000 in fines. All right, so you want to make sure that you're doing the proper things, um, and that's why they want you to get the EPA certification. I suggest just go and rate for the universal if you can. Uh, universal certification allows you to buy and work on any refrigerant on the market for uh, air conditioning systems or uh, refrigeration systems, except for cars. And that would be a EPA 609. But anyway, once again, $37,500 fine per occurrence per day. It used to be $25,000, and, and they increased it. Um, you know, just to make make it a more se even more serious thing. All right, uh, for turning somebody in doing that, it's a ten thousand dollar reward. Um, they they try to incentivize somebody doing something like that. You know, um, but um, you know, so I just want to make you aware of these things. If the junkyard took a, a air conditioning system that had refrigerant in it, all right, and they were the last ones in the disposal chain, and they took that from you, then they are the ones that have to recover this refrigerant. But Basically, I don't usually pump these systems down, all right? I usually um, just recover all the refrigerant out because at some point I'm going to have to recover it. So why not just do it at the job site? There's always something else to do uh, while you're working, all right? Now, some systems you can't pump them down anyway, and pumping down means getting all the refrigerant into the outdoor unit and then this being able to disconnect the lines because the refrigerant's being held off by the bows. The problem with that is... At some point, you're going to have to put a piercing valve onto the lines and recover the rest of the refrigerant out, unless you're going to reuse the, the uh, unit, all right? But somebody's going to have to recover this before it ends up getting to the junkyard, unless your junkyard takes um, systems with refrigerant, and they're going to recover the refrigerant themselves. But anyway, that's how it's done. And right now, uh, R22, I think it's getting about $4.50 a pound uh, for recovered R22. Um, so, you know, if, if you do pull 10 pounds out that is about 45 bucks or so um, at this point in time but you know obviously that's always going to change uh, but the supply houses will pay you uh, for the refrigerant in the bottle okay and normally they'll take the recovery bottles that that they sell there at the store okay uh, they typically don't take a different manufacturer's recovery bottles uh, because they will end up giving you an empty one um, afterwards that is evacuated and ready to put refrigerant in. All right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.